Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome back to another episode of Shrine Watch. I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful week and let's get into it. So surprisingly, the mid-chapter patch was not this week, which I assume means that it's got to be next week. I think everyone had really prepared themselves for it to come yesterday on Tuesday. However, it obviously did not happen. So we do not have the face camping update, which I'm a little bit sad about. I was really looking forward to it. I feel like all of my survivor games at the moment, I'm really struggling with killers just camping the hook and just sticking around and i really cannot wait for this update to drop it's gonna drastically change dbd like massively the last update that gave us such a big change was honestly perhaps the end game collapse that was a huge deal to be put into the game and also so is this so hopefully next week we're gonna be getting that survivors all throughout the game space should be enjoying this and also some killers are not gonna be enjoying this but those are the killers that i'm happy with having a sad time. And regarding the Skull Merchant rework on the PTB, they have said in a tweet, we're taking the PTB feedback for the Skull Merchant into consideration and we'll be making some adjustments before the next update. We'll have more to share soon, stay tuned. So they have noted that everyone just threw their arms up and said, look, this is not a good update and they're actually going to go in and tweak it. So, you know, always looking forward to seeing what's going to come from that. Hopefully they're going to make her both reasonably powerful but also not boring to play against we will just have to cross our fingers and wait but the big news this week is that we got the halloween roadmap for 2023 from behavior they posted this image where we have got all of the events that are coming up and there is quite a lot of stuff happening this month so next week on the 11th i'm assuming this is when the patch is coming we are having tome 17 releasing and it is called commitment and we've seen information that the next tome is focused on oni and also feng min However, when we look at the image here, and we've actually got an enhanced version of this, you can see that the characters featured here are Feng Min, we've got Dwight, we've got Adam, and we've also got the Dredge in what I... I don't even know what to call this skin. It's some sort of fairground attraction looking thing. I really like the look of it. It just looks completely different. As always, Dredge skins coming out absolutely wild. And also we have the Garden of Joy map in the distance. But as far as I was aware, we were going to be getting the Oni Rift and we we're also having a change to Yomoka Estate. So a little bit strange. Where is the Oni on this image? And seeming to go along with this image, we have a message here from someone on Twitter. Why haven't you completely gutted Garden of Joy? And they have said, well, I've got good news for you. Garden of Joy is next up on our list. Surprise! So maybe in next week's patch, we are going to be getting an update to Garden of Joy and they've just not told us or shown us. And if that is the case, <laughs> then we're probably going to get some severe bugs because that map is very complicated. It's got a lot of, you know, different things going on, a big building. So have to see. But where's the Oni skins? I don't know. But I am looking forward to that Dredge skin because it just looks absolutely crazy. What would you call this skin? Some people saying it looks like a toy. I think it looks like a fairground attraction, you know. Looks like it's made out of plastic, uh, but awaiting that happily. On the 13th, we have the Haunted by Daylight live stream. So Behaviour is going to put on some sort of event, use that really cool set that they've got built in their offices. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll get here, but I'm sure a taste of what's to come. And then on the 18th, the Haunted by Daylight event will come out. We'll have daily rewards and a bunch of different sets up on the store. The Void Realm collection, Tricks and Treats, and all of the previous Blighted skins. But what is really interesting is this video that they put out to tease the event that's going to be starting. And in this video, you can clearly see here, this is a new map. You can see that there is a hook right here and some sort of other realm. And this is going to somehow tie into the event. So is it going to be a full new map or is there going to be some sort of way to transition the map to this weird realm? Honestly, this seems like the biggest... If this is the case, it seems like the biggest actual event that they've ever done because it's adding a whole new something into the mix. So actually pretty excited and uh, stoked for this event. I've thought about it a lot and I can't seem to figure out what this different realm would be. But if we also take a look in Dwight's eye towards the end, we can see this figure and it is also featured on the roadmap. But people have been quick to point out that it does look like Ryuk from Death Note. So are we getting some sort of licensed tie-in with Death Note? I'm not entirely sure, but I know that we will find out 
next week on October 13th when they do the live stream. But they've managed to keep it all pretty quiet so far. So respect to you, Behavior. And then on the 24th, we have the Hallowed Blight Collection. And we have seen that we're going to get Blighted Skins for Yoichi and for Starko and also for the Xenomorph, if the leaks are correct. And speaking of leaks, we do have leaked images. I don't know where these came from, but an image of Blighted Sadako and also Blighted Yoichi. Kind of what you would expect from a Blighted skin. Postular juice dripping everywhere. Yoichi with some glasses on and splattered over. Unfortunately, he's got a little backpack on his back. I'm really anti-backpack right now in Dead by Daylight. Call me crazy, but I'm just tired of them. I think they can do cool things without just giving every character a new backpack. But still, no hints as to what the Blighted Xenomorph skin is going to look like. I'm sure it's going to look bloody awesome. So there's our news. Looking forward to the next week's patch. And honestly, the rest of the month looks like it's going to be a pretty decent month for DVD. And over in the fan art corner, we've got some great things to look at this week. First up from Blue Rainy, one of the best creators in the DVD space for artwork. We've got this beautiful picture of Hattie. Really a big fan of Blue Rainy's work. And I hope to see a Jeff at some point soon. That would be super cool. Mame o Mame with an image of the Fire Moon Festival Yui looking really cool, very striking. Like a great profile picture, uh, super cool. Similarly, we have a Feng Min skin from the Fire Moon Festival from Momo Rusi SG. Just love it. And finally, another image from Yasuyuki Sato. This is Dwight and Nia uh, in their very distinct art style, sort of comic book style. Uh, just, I just think all the DVD artists are just so talented. Thank you, everyone, for making such great art. So let's jump over, have a little look at the Shrine of Secrets, and then take these perks into some games. Our first perk is Open Handed from Ace. Increases the range of aura reading by 16 meters for everyone on your team. Super great perk, just helps out in a lot of situations. Mainly if you've got Kindred, I just love this with Kindred. Super easy to get value from it uh, and know where the killer is. Our second perk is Blast Mine from Jill. It's first time up on the Shrine. After completing half of a generator's worth of progress, Blast Mine activates. When you stand next to the generator, you can press your active ability button and put the Blast Mine on the generator, which is basically a flashbang. And when the killer kicks it within 120 seconds, the generator explodes in the killer's face, stuns them. Uh, it's hilarious, <laughs> honestly. One of the funniest perks to run as Survivor. I don't know why, just seeing the killers stand there and get exploded uh, is just so satisfying. Great perk, love it. Over on Killer, our first perk is a Nurse perk. It is Strider. Injured survivors will breathe 50% louder, and regular uninjured survivors will breathe 25% louder. And again, our second perk, it's first time on the shrine, we have a nemesis perk, it is Eruption. After kicking a generator, it will light up yellow. You can do this on as many generators as you like, and then the next time that you knock down a survivor, all of those generators will explode, lose 10% of their progress, and also start regressing. And if a survivor does happen to be on one of those generators, they will scream, and you'll get to see their aura for 12 seconds which is a very long time so really interesting to see two different resident evil perks the first time on the shrine kind of cool if you've got the shards definitely pick both of these up because you don't know when they're going to come back up on the shrine so let's grab those perks take them in some games and see if we can absolutely dominate with them okay the dog uh jeffrey oh we got a generator there oh we've got the entire squad here let's go right what killer is it uh, right, okay, after I've done this generator, I need to go do the gen. Is that... Is that... It's the Death Slinger. Cool, on his map. Did he burn this? We burned it. All right, cool. All right, well, I want to do that generator up there, honestly, because... <laughs> He's just going around in circles? Mother of God. Oh, no! No! We go straight through him. Oh, shit. What the hell? This guy is insane. Genius plays. Damn, that's made me look like a real fucking sausage. Uh... Damn, I should have just kept on running. Should have just not even gone there. I just wanted to do the generator, all right? All right, well, there we go. We've got Kindred with open-handed. We've got mega range. They can see exactly where the killer is. Oh, he shot through the gap in the window? What the hell? This guy is insane. 
Although, you're not going to be able to mind game, oh dude, because I've got kindred and open-handed. It's literally going to make you look like a knobhead. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that is sick. Man. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, right. Decent. Pretty decent. Let's do a little heal here. Okay, so I've shown we sh we actually got some use out of open-handed, which is a absolute result. He's... I can't see. This a gigantic bubble. He's coming. Not a fan of that. All right, blast mine that. He's coming. He's going to kick it, and I'm going to laugh. Kick it. Oh, my God. He actually kicked it. Hilarious. <laughs> okay. So used, open-handed, shown off. Blast mine, shown off. What is this? Shrine watch or something? Actually getting value out of my perks. Crazy. Uh, here's where we get to the end game, and he's got no one escapes death, and we get absolutely punished. He's coming. He's coming back. Take the Kate. Take the Kate. Take the Kate. Kate. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't... I don't think that was the play. All right. On this generator. Let's get a little bit of progress done. I just want my blast mine. Oh, it's looking pretty rough, though. <laughs> shit. Shit, shit, shit. I might as well just... Thank you, Mr. Slinger, sir. I'm just going to pre-drop because I ain't messing around with that. And I'll go. Ah, I just... I know where you are. I can see you at all times. You ain't getting me, Mr. Death Slinger. I'm going elsewhere. I'm going into this wall. He's coming. I can still see his aura. That is just insane. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, last gen, it's looking pretty good. Let's just do a little heal over here. Please hurry up, Jeff. Please, please, please hurry up. They're going to hear me from a mile away because I'm bloody Jeff and I've got lungs for days. Oh dear. Oh dear. See, he's bloody cracked out of his skull, this slinger. He knows shit. He knows what I'm doing. He knows what I'm up to. I, I don't like him. So if we manage to 3-gen ourselves beautifully, it does seem like that. Got him! Got him! He's not got... He's not reloaded, is he? He is reloaded! Please, sir! I'm just trying to do my Jeffering thing. Alright, do the gen... What is everyone doing? They ain't doing the gens, that's for sure. Okay. Alright, they're half... Way. At least everyone's alive. Everyone's alive. They're chunking away. They can see where he is because I've got Kindred. That's why I went down here, everyone. I did it for you. And I don't know where the last bloody generator is. Who's going to be angry about that? Oh, he's coming. He's angry. All right, so where is the last generator? Is it down this back? We did that, Jen. I don't know. I think we've actually messed ourselves up here. That person's just been grabbed. They're going to be killed now. We are in a spot of bother. It seemed like it was going perfectly, and now it's gone. Shit. Where is it? All right, it's just me and you, Kate. That Yui's doing a grand job. She's being chased. Quicker before he gives up the chase. Oh, 
Has he got Tinkerer? Run, Kate, run. Please leave me alone, Kate. Please. I don't want to die, Kate. I'm scared. Hold me, Kate. I just want to get the fuck away from here. Don't kill Jeff! Don't kill Jeff. He's coming to kill Jeff. Why does he hate Jeff so much? Oh, my God. Run, Jeff, run! He's going to shoot. Don't shoot me! <laughs> go, survivors, go! Escape! No! Okay. Guys, just leave. Just leave. Leave poor Jeff. I don't deserve you. Man, I got messed up that game. He hit some nice shots. I respect the slinger. He's a nice guy. He's probably a nice guy. He played well. I played crap. What's new? Alright, two out, two dead. Respectable. Alright, GG. Nice moves, Slinger. Okay, so we've got Eruption and Strider, of course. I'm going to bring Overcharge and I'm going to bring uh, Lightborn. Because we've got four flashlights. Literally making my job easy for me. Watch how sad and salty they're going to get the second they figure out I've used a perk to counter them. Okay, Groaning Storehouse. Oh, they brought us here. Well, let's see if we can actually make something happen. Uh, probably not. Let's face it. It's probably going to be absolutely shocking, but who knows? First trap is down and the adventure commences. I can already see scratch marks, which is just the worst news if you're a trapper because you want to be able to set up some traps first. Good job, dude. That's a nice, easy knockdown for me. Oh, I'm happy with that one. Uh, okay, right. Well, that starts me off in a little bit of a, a nice way. Uh, I cannot complain. <laughs> he watched me place the second trap and was like, ah, ha, ha. I'm smarter than you, trapper. No, get on the hook, Quentin. Oh, snapping my traps. Well, guess what? I'm just going to replace the trap. Got you now. Checkmate, survivors. Uh, Now what? Someone's on that gen. All right, Kate wants me to chase her. Uh, let's do it. Fine, Mrs. Ghostface. Fine, then we get another trap. Got one gen done. All right, look. How about this? Now what? On to the next one. All right, Dwight, I'll take you. Thank you. Get rid of the basement pallet. Oh, look. Oh, guys, I couldn't blind him with the flashlight. He's using a perk. Get him. Nice. Well, that's just set myself up for... Uh, not getting flashlighted for the rest of the game? Absolutely goddamn glorious. Put down the trap. Chase the Dwight. Smash the head. Extract the goodies. Ah! Oh, hey, Dwight. What's up? What are you going to do without your flashlight? I do love it. A lot of players in this game really do rely on the flashlight so much that... And they don't have the flashlight. They don't actually know what the hell to do. And I love that. Thank you. We're hunting. Do they get all my traps? They've got all my traps. Dude, I swear actually getting to trap stuff in this game is bloody impossible. It just doesn't happen. It's just very, very tricky. But I'll continue it here. I've still only got one hook. But we're going in. Oh, you want to be chased, Quentin. Okay, well, I'm going to injure you. Oh, hey, Dwight. Oh, my God. Can I please just get someone knocked down now? That'd be so good. Yes. Nice. Cool. All right. Well, we got two hooks for two gens. It's not a good ratio. It's a bad ratio, but it's something. It's just what I got to work with, and I really need to use my bloody perks. Uh, I need to use overcharge and eruption in a big way. 
Oh, they're going far. All right, well, we've got rid of... Oh, no, there's still a pallet down here. All right, whatever. You know, I'm not stressing. Hello. Go through the mid, go through the mid, go through the mid into the trap. She didn't go into the trap. Damn survivors and their knowledge of my traps. Go over the vault. Mm, you're scared to go over my vault, aren't you? Okay, I think we're going to have to just leave her down for a second and go and try and stop them from saving. Or at least pressure it a little bit. Get a bit of an injury here. Hey, what up? We can get Dwight to go second hook. Honestly, I'm not sad about that at all. all right, he is... Going second. Sorry, Dwight. All right. Give me... This, Kate. I want to pick up. Pick up. Nice. All right. Suddenly we're getting a little bit of something here. Everyone's injured. Uh, we're going to go over there, pressure these survivors. Dwight's moriable. If I can actually catch him. Oh, nice job, Dwight. Well. You're dead. Uh, all right, that's one down. Oh, no, please don't flashlight blind me. Fuck. Oh, he dropped the flashlight. A respectable move. Okay, cool. All right, now I'm in the driver's seat. They've managed to do three gens, to be fair. Absolutely normal. Uh, but their progress has suddenly halted. Let's place a trap here. Seems like it might work. Uh, okay. Oh, beautiful. That, look, it's that trap. Doing work again, although he's already freed himself because... Hello there, sausage. You go into the same trap twice. Okay. Nice. She's gone to second hook. We're literally just being absolutely hard carried here. Uh, I'm not done much. I've just wandered around like an absolute sausage. And yet we're still getting kills. Bonk. All right. And a trap here. It's a random trap, but I feel good about it. All right. So we've got gen, gen, gen. I've got to patrol around my gens. Got to protect my gens. Protect my gens over everything else. Oh, they're both in here. Wait. I heard them both. Are they in the basement? They are. Hi, guys. Let's go, Quentin. Imagine if that's a head-on play. That would be so sick. Uh, right, well... It was head-on. She could have totally pulled off the head-on. And she didn't. That's such a weird play. All right, nice. Well, I'm not sad about that at all. Let's go, Kate. Can you stand in one of my traps? I hope so. Thank you. Yeah, blinding me just... I suppose... Blind would have worked. Otherwise. Whoa, what is she? A spooky, quick and quiet... Gamer? Not quick and quiet. Dance with me? I suppose that's distortion. Right, yeah, no idea where Kate went. Actually, respectable. I like it. Kate, you got good plays. But do you have good enough plays to avoid this trap? I know that she's back here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, here's the hatch. Is she just standing on top of it? She's not! I'm still saying she's down in this end of the map. That's my guess. I could be so wrong. Mm, she's not on that gate. All right. Are we getting a 4K here? Oh, look, the scratches. I knew you were here, Kate. I could smell you. No, 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 no. No flashlight for you. Yeah. No flashlight for you, Kate. Oh, she's go through the window. All right. She's got lithe. Nice. What now? Or just chase her for a little bit. Just hold. I'll just hold W. 
I don't even need to hold shift, Kate, because I'm a killer. Only survivors hold shift. Take the vault, take the vault, take the vault. Take the vault, I dare you. Okay, all right, GG, I'll take the four. Oh! Even better. Well, more are you. Okay, right, well, let's see. Eruption, I got no value out of. Strider, I could hear them. I could hear those people in the basement, actually. So maybe that was value. Uh, yeah. Not too bad. Not the, not the greatest, not the worst. We got some traps. Well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. My name has been Panda, and I hope that you've enjoyed Shrine Watch this week. Come follow me over on Twitch, drop a like on the video, and I will see you next time. Halloween is coming. I can't wait. Take care of yourselves. Panda out.